inside the latest edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. Brandon Acosta from SVG here with you. Have the distinct pleasure now to be joined by David Shapiro. He is president of North America for Pixelot, automated production through the use of AI. Uh, David, first off, thanks, all, thanks so much for taking the time. Really hope you and everyone on your team are doing well. No problem. Thanks for having me, Brandon. Of course. So automated production, uh, AI, what does all that mean? Take this, for those who maybe aren't familiar with what Pixelot does, give us a quick overview of the company. Yeah, so Pixelot's focused on revolutionizing the global sports market through automated production. Automated production, a lot of people would say, well, what exactly is that? So mm -hmm. to put it in simpler terms, we're uh, automating the entire sports production workflow. So if you think about a sports production, you've got cameraman, editors, graphics, audio staff, producers, you've got a whole staff of people working to get a live sports event off. So we're utilizing AI and machine learning to make that process 100% automated. Now, this obviously isn't being built to replace the NFL or NBA or Major League Baseball production. We're focused on bringing the millions of events that aren't produced today into the spotlight. So this includes everything from youth up to second tier pro leagues. Um, we're doing this at scale today. So our technology is installed at over 6,500 uh, venues. So that's fields and courts across the world. And in January, before the coronavirus um, started to hit everywhere, uh, we produced over 50,000 games in one month. And so to put that number in perspective for you, ESPN, the wide, worldwide leader in sports, produces about 25,000 games a year. Mm -hmm. So we doubled that in one month. Um, we're in addition to live and on-demand pr production of games, we're also automating highlights uh, for the full game and then also personal highlights. Yeah, staggering numbers. Uh, I mean, you mentioned there, obviously, the coronavirus pandemic has thrown a lot of people's lives uh, upside down right now. Uh, so how has Pixelot adjusted to the times and how is the company responding to kind of the current state of media as we see it? Yeah, I mean, this is a very challenging time for everyone um, as we try to flatten the curve and, and everybody stay safe. Uh, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, and sports are really such an important piece of our society. Uh, and there's a big void for many of us uh, that we're missing here with sports not being played worldwide. Uh, and this goes from the pro level to college to high school, uh, even down to youth sports. It's really a, a critical piece for how our society builds relationships communicates, socializes with each other. Um, I do think sports will hopefully be back soon and will be a big part of how we rebound from these challenging times. Uh, but when they do return, I think it's gonna be in a different fashion. I think that in-person attendance will likely be uh, lower at least for the next year. Um, and that will in turn increase the demand for, for viewing through devices, TV, tablet, phone, et cetera. Um, so Pixlot plans to work with the sports market to reconnect them with their fans as soon as possible in a safe and efficient manner. Sure. And of course, while all this is going on, innovation continues to chug forward, hopefully for the most of us. Uh, how has Pixelot continued to expand their offerings recently? Uh, you've been, you mentioned you've worked with partners even ranging as large as ESPN. Uh, how has the product continued to evolve for you guys? Yeah, so we've really worked on expanding our product up and down. So when I say up, that's into more of the ESPN level quality and then down being even down into to youth sports, which had not been a focus of ours until uh, the past six to eight months here. So in regards to ESPN, we partnered with them on some of the sports in the America East, which is a conference that they have the rights to. Um, they previously were not producing sports like soccer, lacrosse, field hockey because the cost of production was so high. Um, so they're using Pixlot to be able to produce sports that they otherwise wouldn't be producing. Mm -hmm. um, and so as you can imagine, the standards for production at ESPN are a lot higher than a high school or a youth organization. So we developed a new product called Pixlot Prime, uh, which was really built to address the higher end of the market, uh, that being college and tier two professional sports. Um, and so it's 60 frames per second, uh, in 1080p, really more similar to the uh, linear TV style production that you would see. And we have the ability to tie in additional angles, et cetera, through the Pixlot Prime. Uh, and in addition to ESPN, we're, we're, we're using the Prime product in Europe and several other 
uh, tier two professional leagues and colleges across the US also. Uh, and then in regards to the youth marketplace, we're in beta right now on a product that's essentially a software only solution. So you can use a GoPro or any other action camera, be able to use that to capture the panorama of the court or field and then upload it into our software. And then our software does everything that we do for the ESPN production with uh, that video feed. So you're able to get uh, tracking of the action, a broadcast view, you're able to get automatic highlights for the game and then also for individual players. So we really think that's gonna change the game in the youth marketplace. Uh, really intriguing services that you guys are offering to the sports video production world right now. Uh, David, obviously things are very crazy right now, so we appreciate you taking a few minutes with us and uh, best of luck with everything the rest of the way. Thanks so much for having me, Brandon. All right, he is David Shapiro, president of North America for Pixelot. Uh, be sure to join us next time on the next edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand.